these people don't fucking move, man. Like, I mean, if you're going to do it, you got to do it shit with all your might, man. At least, I, that's how I think. Man, that scripture's always been stuck in my head. And, you know, Salakia from Rambling, but Primo does the same thing. I call him Primo. You know, I do with Primo, his cousin. I do believe that. But, um, we, we, we going at it. We, we, and it's like we compete with each other with our numbers. Because before, I didn't know it was a numbers game. I was just giving my stuff away. I pack it up, and I was just like, oh, yeah. And people, they was holding back on me. And when they realized, I, when they realized, when I realized about it, when I realized about a numbers game, then I decided to build those numbers up on them. So, so, and lo and behold, it comes out. You know, yeah, I didn't, I didn't make it like that. But people was already intimidated by me. That's the spirit of y'all about Shimei Shah, right? And it's always been like that. Even everywhere I go, it's always been like that. People feel intimidated. You know, so, you know, and I told, I told um, my boy, well, you know, he's cool, you know, we've been oppressed together and they put all that work on top of us and everybody was just watching us. So I said, yeah, you don't know me. <laughs> I work best when the pressure's up to my neck. That's just, you know, if you're going to do something, you got to go hard. So we, we was going hard together. And then they, now everybody, a few of the, a few of the Edomites, which I feel like they slick as hell, they just, they envy Oh, I want to do what you doing. Who the fuck? You don't really want to do what I'm doing. You just want, you just don't want me to be on top. You can see that. You know, if they in the office talking about me, because the, the person, somebody said, oh, you might, you know, they think about making you supervisor. I was like, because uh, I know I learned everything so fast. But you know, you when you if the spirit of Hashem is with you, he's gonna he's gonna make you he's gonna make you outshine the rest. He's gonna if 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 you're doing his will. And in the last verse, I mean the last um um uh um show I did, I was I was praying to the Lord to consider my enemies. And and I truly believe he did consider them. In this moment, all the things that just happened, that he and, and it was it was crazy. He was pushing people out of the way and in a violent manner. <laughs> and I brought this out that he he preserved me. You know. Even the young even the young guy I thought, you know, I thought he was older, but he was saying you know, he was thirty years old. But I said, okay, because you know, he was, but every time somebody tells me my age, they're like, "Nah, you're not that old." With how, especially how I'm moving around. But yeah, I am. <laughs> but we all pressed together, and they gave both of us all this damn work, three floors. Nobody else is doing it. And then when the next crew came in, they was all mad. They were like, "Yo, why the fuck y'all got these two doing all this work?" And then when they checked the numbers, they're like, "Damn." Y'all motherfuckers went in. But, yeah, and, you know, I got a guy home, and he was like, he was, and he's like, yo, he always talking to me. You know, for me, hanging around Hispanic brothers, brothers all the time, my Rodequa brothers, I understand, you know, I understand. So he, and it's like, it's like speaking Spanish. And he's like, yo, you speak Spanish? Like, nah, I don't speak Spanish. I speak broken Spanish. I don't, I just understand. So let me read the verse again. It says, Jeremiah chapter, chapter 50, verse 33. The Lord of hosts, I mean, so I, does say the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Yeah, we oppressed together right now. Because remember, we wasn't oppressed together. We went, what, one half went under um, the, um, the Syrians and the other half went under the Babylonians. Preferably Israel went, Israel the, from the Hispanics, from Ephraim all the way down to Issachar. They went under the... um. This um oh jeez fell out of my hand the Syrians and from Judah to um from Judah to to the um ben, Judah Benjamin and Levi they went under the Babylonians so we wasn't oppressed together back then but now we are under the modern day um Babylonian which is these Edomites we are oppressed together with the other nations helping keeping us oppressed because the Rome I mean, Psalm chapter eighty three speaks about that. And lamentation, I forgot the lamentation, when they clap and hiss, you know, they all, everybody looking at, they're all happy that we, where we at, because when we get back on top, it's going to be, we, it was today and yesterday, oh yeah, another thing, I was having this, this guy here, a Muslim, but he, he Jake, 
He just don't know he Jake. <laughs> he got the beard, but he was he was shaping his shit up. And I'm look, I never mentioned nothing to him, but I mean, we talked and shit. So, and then the, the other Edomite, he came in our conversation. He's like, I was like, hold up, hold up, bro. If you're gonna if you're gonna be in this conversation, you gotta have a ruler class mentality. <laughs> So with the conversation we was having, we was talking about, and I was we was talking about this oppressors, how we oppress. I'm like yo, man, he tried to tell me, oh, I shouldn't be working that hard, bro. I'm not here to, yo. You tell me people just get be getting fired, but they don't want to do their work. I got people to feed, you know what I mean? And it's not the point, and it's not like it's not a hard job. My last job was disgusting, and and, and that shit was hard, you know. But I still did it, and I I did it great. You know? Not because it wasn't it wasn't getting paid a lot, but you know it was just worth it. This one I'm getting paid a little bit more, but you know the outcome is just, and you don't got to be around disgustingness. Shit, we was I was oppressed there, and I'm still being oppressed because they try to put try to throw the work on me. And the stupid eating my bitch man, this fucking Ashashwa ain't no good. She ain't shit, but you know I still do what I do. So do so do my boy. Like you know, man, we became cool. And he he's like he's saying the same thing. He's like, Yo, I don't want to go back to the old me, you know. And if he learned his if he learned his nationality, he'll be a he. That's um what what it says. It says um he used Judah for the bow and Ephraim for the um how how that verse go? Oh man, let me see if I can find that real fast. Lock it because we all oppressed right now, man. Judah for Bo. No. I'm sorry, I can't remember how the verse went, but. Judah Bo. Let me see. Maybe it'll pop up. Alright, I got eight verses. Let's see if I can find out of these two verses. I can't remember how it went, but if I find it, that'd be a blessing. All right, I think I, no. yeah, yeah, Ooh, you fucks, yeah, there yeah, we go, it says, Zephaniah, no, so like Zechariah, Zechariah chapter, chapter 9, verse 13, when I have been Judah for me and filled, so like it, um, when I have been Judah for me, fill the bow with Ephraim. And raise up thy sons, O Zion, against the sons, against the sons of O Greece, against thy sons, O Greece, and made and made thee as a sword of a mighty man. And that's us. That's what's happening right now. When we when we get around, man, when we get around these people, we bad as a motherfucker, bro. And that's just on because we. And we this is this is. Weird. Um, oh, what goes, what verse, other verse go with this? I think in the, um, um, because he's going to make us, he's going to make us a mighty, um, weapon. And what he said, he said, um, um, I think it's in Malachi, or Micah, um, because we're going to, we're going to bust down, we're going to bust you down. We're going to bust you down, bro. You want to run down on us and put all the work on top of us? We built the countries. Right. Let me read this verse again. When I have been Judah for me, he gonna Ben he gonna make us a he gonna make us a bow. And we gonna shoot, <laughs> fill the bow with Ephraim. Oh, Ephraim gonna be the arrow, and we gonna we gonna make it happen together. And raise up thy, I mean, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy against thy sons, O Grisha. We're gonna run down on the sons of Grisha is um them um them Edomites. Okay. Preferably they took over the um they took over that land over there um in Jaffrit, the Jaffrit, the Japhites, but we're not talking about the Japhites. Talking about you Edomites. And made 
D as a sword of a mighty man. He gonna, we gonna, I'm telling you, we gonna be bad motherfuckers. Right now, we bad as a motherfucker. We were watching it. If perfectly, yo, I hate you goddamn two thirds, man. You know? Fucking mad. They mad because they, they see how, they gotta, they gotta play catch up. If you're gonna do it around me, you better do it right. Huh?